Hey guys, MEP Guy here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between a sanitary tee and a Y fitting. Now, you'll see in Revit when you start drawing sanitary piping, you'll notice there's two types of fittings you're going to be working with. One is called a sanitary tee, and one is called a Y. And these are actually the same fitting. Now, when I click on it, you'll see that that's called a T sanitary. And then I'm going to click on this one, which is the Y. And that's also called a T-sanitary. Now the difference is that this little fitting is able to go at different angles, okay? So when we're actually drawing plumbing uh, per the International Plumbing Code, we actually cannot do this if we're working with horizontal drainage piping. And when I mean horizontal drainage piping, I mean that piping that is going horizontally um, parallel to the floor, okay? And the reason for that is they want nice smooth transitions when we're dealing with sanitary piping. So let's go back to our floor plan. And what I mean by smooth transitions, so if we had um, sanitary drainage flowing this way, and we also had sanitary drainage flowing this way, you can see that when they would come together, it's more likely that a clog is going to occur when you're just using this T fitting as opposed to using this nice smooth transitional Y fitting, okay? So the plumbing code actually requires you guys to use this type of fitting um, combination together. Now, the cool thing about Revit is it allows you to do both of these, but what I would recommend is to do something a little, a little different. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're gonna actually duplicate this piece of pipe we're just gonna go to create similar and I'm gonna start drawing some pipe up here and as you can see Revit will snap for us we're gonna hit escape there and then we're just gonna use the CS command for create similar again and to draw this sanitary T all I have to do is I have to just T into my pipe just like that and it will create this sanitary T now to make my Y all I do is I start my point right here and I go close to the the pipe and then I go at a 45 degree angle towards it. And let me show you guys. See, it's at 45, so I click right there. And that will create this 45 degree elbow fitting and then this Y fitting. Now, that's great and that's totally fine if you guys just want to draw it just like that. There's nothing wrong with this. But what I would recommend is getting a combination fitting. And let me show you guys uh, what that is. So I'm gonna go to my MEP Guy fittings template. And this is a template you guys can download at mepguy.com. And the cool thing about it is I can just tab into all my fittings right here. I'm just gonna copy those to the clipboard. I'm gonna go back to my floor plan and my other project. And I'm just gonna simply go to modify, paste, and we're just going to paste those fittings and pipe in somewhere about right there. And then I can just hit escape. And now that these fittings are in my project, I can use them. Now the fitting that I wanna use is this one right here. And that's my combination Y fitting. So basically now that it's in my project, I can use it instead of doing this little elbow in 45. And let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So if I go to here and I just right click, create similar, and then I just T into my pipe. It will create a T and that's fine. But now if we select it, we have this drop down, and you can see there's all these different types of T fittings. So I'm gonna use my Y combination eighth bend right here. And now you can see that this fitting actually is composed of both of these fittings right here. So the reason why I wanna do that is it's gonna make my job a lot easier when I'm drawing piping in Revit. And let me show you what I mean. So the first thing we have to do though is we have to set our routing preferences so anytime we T into this sanitary pipe, we get this special fitting right here, which is code compliant by the International Plumbing Code. So I'm gonna click on my pipe and I'm going to go to edit type. And then under routing preferences, I'm gonna hit edit. And this is for my PVC type pipe. And right now you can see junction my preferred junction is a T, which I'm gonna leave. And then my junction type is this T sanitary, which we already said is not legal. So we're gonna actually use this Y combination instead. And I'm gonna hit OK and hit OK right here. And now let's just go ahead and draw some more pipe. So we'll right click on this, create similar, and I'll just draw some piping right here, up here, hit escape, and then we'll start drawing some pipe. And now when we T into it, watch what happens it will draw that combination fitting. So now I don't have to draw both those fittings. Now another cool thing 
is whenever I have a piece of pipe. So let's just hold control and we'll just copy that piece over here just like that. Now I can use my modify command and use my trim extend single element. And I'm going to click that and I can select where I want to go and then select my piece of pipe and you'll see Revit will automatically place that fitting. So now when you guys are drawing your horizontal drainage piping, this will, these combination Ys will automatically be set for you. So I would re really recommend doing that uh, for your routing preferences and it'll make your job a lot easier. Now I'm going to go into the uses for all of these different fittings in my course, Plumbing 101, that should be available very soon. And I'm gonna go over uh, when to use these and, and what is and what is not allowed by the International Plumbing Code. So the last thing I want to um, talk about is let's go to a 3D view and this is the initial thing we drew. We already said that this uh, fitting is not code compliant so what I'd want to do is I'd want to make sure I change that to my combination. And this is what it looks like in a 3D view. So very similar to this, this type setup. Now we can use that um, T fitting when we are going from horizontal and I'm going to draw a pipe and we're gonna drop this down to five feet. And I'm just gonna hold shift and we're gonna draw it out this way. Now, if I wanna make a T here, I can just select the elbow and hit the plus button and that will create that T that we set up. Now, this fitting is totally fine. It gives us a nice uh, sweep like we talked about. Um, into our vertical piping, but this fitting is actually more expensive. So we might actually want to use our sanitary T in this case only. So now to change it back, I can just hit my drop down and we can just go to my sanitary T right here. And that is um, perfectly code compliant because now we have gravity that's helping us uh, get to this vertical drain. And so there's nothing wrong with doing this. Now, the last thing I'll show you guys is if for some reason you guys had let's say this piece of pipe was much bigger. So this was maybe a stack that was going through your building. So I'm gonna make this uh, six inches and we're gonna change this fitting back to our sanitary T. And you can see that Revit is kind of doing some silly weird stuff here. It's basically putting in a reducing coupling. So let's just click on that. And this is just called a reducer in Revit. But what that essentially is doing is it's going from this four inch pipe to this six inch pipe, but it's adding this coupling in. Now we don't really want that. So there's a special type fitting we can actually use. So I'm going to show you guys that. So in the MEP guy fittings, there's this um, special fitting called a reducing T. And what the reducing T will do, let's go back to our 3D view. The reducing T, let's click on our T. And when we change it to a T reducing, you'll see that now that, that little, um, increaser or reducer fitting has been removed and this just makes things a lot cleaner so now when I, if I was doing you know if I was making this an isometric drawing or if I was making this uh, medium line weight now you can see the fittings look very nice and that's why I like it so let's turn on our thick lines so you can see that this transition right here with this fitting looks a lot nicer than having these multiple fittings right here and then in this case we now we have that nice smooth single transition and also this fitting um, just is easier because we don't have to have that extra increase or fitting so that's just a brief explanation of some sanitary fittings that you guys are going to want to be aware of that's going to really save you guys time so i hope you guys enjoyed this short little video and make sure you check out my course plumbing 101 available at mepguy.com and also make sure you download this free revit file with all these fittings so you can just copy and paste these into any project that you use so you have all the fittings that you'll ever need Thanks guys, I'll see you later.